Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Quick video today to show you how to back up your settings on the Fuji X-T4 using the Fujifilm Free version of the X-Acquire. Now this is a application available for Mac or PC that you can download on your computer from free. I will leave the description to the download link from the Fuji support website so you can download it for your computer. We're gonna show you the installation on a Mac computer. I use an iMac, uh, obviously similar installation if you are using a PC and and you can also download, download that for free. So all included. But that being said, once you get the camera software installed on your computer, what it will do is it'll bring over all of your saved settings from your Fuji X-T4 and save it onto your, onto your computer for a backup and you can actually restore your settings to your camera. Uh, handy if you have your camera set up how you want to have it set up, but then sometimes if you're out about making some shooting and you possibly change a setting and, you're, and then you're not sure what you've what you've done with the camera or something like that, or if you lend it to, you know, lend it to a friend to use and they change all your settings, it's an easy way to bring back your preferred settings onto your camera super simply without having to reset it and then and then add all of your kind of tweaks and, and customizations that way this will this will do it for you basically within a minute so we'll show you how to do that but before you before you actually are able to do the backup of that there's a quick little setting we have to change in the menu system of your xt and i'll show you how to do that right now all right so we've jumped into the menu system here just one setting to change you want to hit the menu okay button and then go over and down to the wrench setting. Uh, you're gonna wanna go down to the bottom here is connection setting and go to the connection mode. And by default, it's gonna say USB card reader because when if you're plugging in the USB, it's gonna read off your, your images that way. But what you wanna do is scroll down to the bottom to USB raw conversion backup and restore. Now this will let us connect the camera and use the X Acquire software. Hit okay and then you can just go back and you'll want to turn off the camera before connecting it to the computer. Okay, we've already got the Fuji X Acquire film application installed. So we'll double click that to start. And what you're going to notice is up on the top right hand side in the menu bar, there's a little X that will show up. So let's close off this window. Right now everything will be grayed out. But when we plug in our Fuji camera to USB, and power on the camera. It'll take a couple seconds, but this will turn, there we go. It'll turn kind of darker, darker blue color. So you wanna click that, and you wanna hit backup camera settings. And this is gonna let us name this. By default is documents, but let's put it right on the desktop. And there we go, we'll save. And it just takes a second, but there we go. Uh, saved on the desktop, we've got our data from all the camera settings and we have it saved from our camera. So if we do any adjustments to our camera or we've, we kind of screw something up, we can always uh, restore it from this. So to restore, it's basically the opposite. You go restore camera settings. It's gonna let you select where to do it. You click it and it restores up to, up to your camera. Now, you'll notice on your Fuji X-T4 camera, it doesn't really give any kind of notice that it's been done, so I would definitely recommend leaving it for at least a minute or so in order for it to transfer properly. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions on the X-T4, leave me a comment down below in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer them and possibly even film a video for you. If you are enjoying your X-T4, let me know how you like it as well in the comments. If this is your first time here, obviously subscribe to the channel. It'd be great to have you follow along. I share Fuji camera tips, tips and tricks, lots of videos. I have lots of videos in the back library to check out. So if you're looking for some Fuji tips, go check out some of my playlists. Uh, until my next video, you can check out this one. Thanks everybody.